The city was doing really well with open data. We have a really active community. Um, there was momentum, a lot of excitement around it. So the mayor didn't have to, Mayor Nutter, did not have to formally you know, put his cards on the table. But to his credit, he said, we, we, we want to make this an official policy. We believe in this. And even more importantly, he put there are specific metrics in that order. It's definitely been a lot easier since you know the executive order went through. The biggest thing I think would be the appointment of the chief data officer. They hired the best hacker in our community and put him on the inside. Mark Head has been really successful in getting a lot of uh, a lot of city data that wasn't previously available available uh, in a way that's programmatically accessible. Some of the first work that was done was the creation of uh, OpenDataPhilly.org, which is the centralized place to list available data sets. Now we maintain and host Open Data Philly, and it's in the process of becoming the official data portal for the city of Philadelphia. It's an open data working group that was called for in the executive order. Um, and it, it, of course, has represent, representatives from all of the city agencies, uh, at least the big ones, the big data producers. <laughs> The executive order itself doesn't technically cover our transportation authority, it doesn't cover our parking authority, it doesn't cover our school district, but they are all now at the table with us through this open data working group. And there's really kind of an ongoing kind of official effort to push data out there. So when we go and talk to agencies, it's no longer about convincing the DOTUS. We can say, hey, you know, it's happening. In some cases, I've actually gone to websites like ScraperWiki, which are scrapers against city websites, and said, they think this data is so valuable, they're scraping it off your website. Councilmatic uses legislative data from uh, City Council's website. The way that Councilmatic gets the data is through a scraper. Mark and his, his colleagues put up that open data release schedule, um, which is a pretty cool thing to see what they're planning on releasing, and you can sort of hold them to that now that they've published it. Now that we've got a couple of really big data releases out under our belt, we've seen a lot of uh, apps spring up around and a lot of innovation, innovative uses of this data. I have been working on a project that I started at the Philly Code Fest to do transit accessibility analysis for uh, getting to grocery stores using public transit. Now because there's all this open data, a lot of the hackathons can focus on instead of scraping it or making it available, like what, what are some things we can actually do with this? So I have another app actually called Philly Crime Mapper and it's using the crime um, incidents that the city released last year, just displaying them on a map. If we're going to call ourselves an open city, there's certain kinds of data we have to have released. It's got to be data that touches people's lives, so transit data fits real well. Crime data, data on school performance, certainly budget and expenditure information. We have conversations at work about like the different types of things that we could do with just better ecosystems around um, particular types of data. We think about planning data. So one of the main challenges we have is we have to extract the data from these legacy systems and present it in a way that is uh, appropriate. The people in our government don't have to be software engineers in order to do open data. They just have to keep doing their jobs using better tools. Not all the data we have can be shared with the public. We don't want to give away personally identifying information. We don't want to give away sensitive information. But those can't be barriers to releasing data. We can't use those as excuses. Better government naturally should include open data. As long as you release more, it's just going to continue to grow. There are just so many good people doing good things in Philly right now. We've got a few advantages, but you know, this is happening all over the country, so we've got to stay sharp and work hard if we're going to keep in the front. Thank you.